tractor's loud. So, I disable the unit and wait for the loop to go up and then re enable it. Restart! After being off about five minutes of normal operation, the uh, oil pressure did not come up, just tracked the suction pressure, and it uh, shut down after the two minute uh, delay, just like it's supposed to do. The other compressor should be kicking in any minute. There it goes. Happened to bring in circuit B first when I restarted it, which is the one I wanted to watch. Yep unit normally, let it do a pump down, let it get up to a little over 50 degree on the water loop, and then I re-enabled it with a switch, electronic expansion valve opened up, started back up, and uh, it failed on pr oil pressure. Suction about 82. Oil pressure test port. Well, stage is running, so it's coming down on temp. Capacity at 100. So, of course, all stages are running. Just the drop below 45 degrees and it staged off circuit B this time. Did a normal pump down. Pump down. And there's enough load on the building now, it's about 10.45. Feels like it's 90-ish. I don't know when it's gonna come up on load again, but. I'm going to come back in a few minutes and see what happens when it stages back up. A few minutes to go to our other building and didn't make it back in time. It already brought on circuit B and had tripped off. So, just reset the control and we'll let this sucker start up again and see what happens. Restarted after recycling the power and uh, kicked right up. Now it's got oil pressure again. about 72 on the oil test port, uh, about 25, 28 PSI. It's working normal again. Cycle it off again. Coming up. There it goes. certainly did pump into a vacuum. It's approaching more closer to uh, no pressure now. 
Mm. Okay, so I just turn off the remote switch, let it do the pump down, and uh, I'm gonna let the loop temperature get above 50, which is where we'll want to uh, call for both stages. And it'll probably take just a couple minutes, like five minutes or so, so it'll be a good test. And then I'm gonna fire it back up. It should stage on one compressor than the other, and we'll see what that circuit B does. Let's see if it faults again. Uh, no oil pressure yet. Probably gonna trip. There it went. That was only stage B right then. Huh. It's only been off for a minute. Why well, don't reset that power? Now it's got oil pressure. Go take me a lunch. All right. Well, I just got back from lunch. It's 1:15. That uh, compressor, of course, is in lockout. The uh, loop temperature is getting up to 60 degrees. I was looking at the rating of the compressors. I do realize that circuit A uh, is a smaller compressor. It's about 40% of its capacity, and circuit B, the one that keeps locking out, is 60%. <laughs> That's not good. Alrighty then, it looks like I needed to adjust the charge here, which I did, got all the specs on the boost, and uh, charged it up, it was uh, 14 pounds over a clear sight class, now I did a pump down again, it did start to pump down into a vacuum just slightly, but not too hard, and then it shut down, now you can see it's creeping up. I did a normal shutdown procedure, you know, of course, so I did a pump down. And I'm going to leave it off for about five minutes or so, and then actually let the temperature come up a little bit in the loop, and then I'm going to start it up and see if it starts normally this time instead of uh, shutting down on no oil pressure. Thank you. 
starting up. 